Uh, you may not remember a particular press conference about police officers, but I have made many public statements and cried out against all violence against police officers for the BLM. Yes, for yes, for the police, specifically Capitol Police here. Congressman Gohmert sponsored a bill that I co-sponsored along with him, wanting to give, uh, you know, medals of honor, wanted to award them for how they were treated during the January 6th riot, but also extend it to police officers all across the country. I'm not going to separate them. I, I am very supportive of our, of our police, and I have consistently denounced the violence here. So do not go down that route. That would be completely unwarranted. I think another thing that we need to talk about is the January 6th committee, their unconstitutional um, bounds that they are completely crossing, wanting to get records of telecommunication from telecommunications companies, bank records of people so they can continue to politically um, do this warfare that they're waging on Republicans, but yet they're unwilling to go to the D.C. jail. They're unwilling to, to release videotapes. They're unwilling to talk about the real things that happened that day. They just want to extend it to keep on attacking Trump, keep on attacking President Trump, because they're so filled with Trump derangement syndrome, and they need something to cover up the fact that Joe Biden's administration and the failures of the Democrats are destroying our country right now. So I think the best thing that the January 6th committee should do is they should take a tour of the D.C. jail and they should go look at the conditions that are happening there and then, you know, talk to more police officers, talk to talk to people, witnesses that were there that day and release all the video. Because if we release all the video, then there's no speculation or guessing. It's all there for everyone to see. And that's how this nation can heal when we are able to look at the truth.